Welcome back to the channel guys. Right in this episode we're going to be going over base locations and also how you want to be building on foppers. Because this is a modded server you've got modded tames like the Terranova, the Penguino, so you can't be building the same as you would on a normal arc server. Same with base locations. Um, I see a lot of new players on here that are only lasting a day or two and then getting wiped. So we're going to try and help these guys out. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to sub up, drop us a like. Also, if you're interested, I've started a new community discord. Um, link's going to be in the description. And with that being said, let's get straight into the video, guys. Right, so first spot is Pearl Cave. Cords are in the top left. Here it is on the map. Right, do not waste your time placing turrets down here because they'll just get dropped. Um, what you do want to do is just spam the whole area off. Try and use these XL force field walls as they've got loads of health on them and they take a while to a drop. They're kind of annoying actually to drop. Or same again, you can use tech XL pillars to spam off this whole tunnel. Just gives you a bit of time before they actually get to the main base. Right, this is kind of how you want to build it. Um, you can spam small bear traps. That will trap the penguinos. It's the only thing you need to defend against is the penguins. They obviously can't fit a terror in. Um, snow owls can't dive because the ceiling's too low. So they just can't get the speed. They just get annihilated and can't get in. So penguinos is what they'll be using. Make sure your death wall's all the way back so they can't breach it in time. Also, make sure you build everything out of tech. Do not waste your time building out of metal because it's one rocket to drop anything metal. Um, another thing, make sure to do some netting in front of the turrets with these tech foundation supports. As you can see here, you can make them invisible so people can't see them. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Make sure you block the water area off. Make sure you do a mini death wall this side just to block it off so they can't try and run down here. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Next up, we have Bear Cave. Right, this is kind of... I'm not too sure about this spot. Normally, yeah, on center, there's loads of good base spots on center, but not on foppers. Because it's modded, again, you've got the Terra Nova and stuff, it's so easy to raid on here. You're very limited to where you can build. Um, so Bear Cave is kind of, it's one of them. Usually Bear Cave is really good because you can defend all outside. You can do a massive bob out here. You can do massive towers. You can get all these cliffs up here, turrets on them. But you can't do that on this server because someone will just run it with a Terra Nova and drop all the stuff in five or 10 minutes. And because the turret limit is 274, you've only got so many turrets. So you don't want to waste them out here. They get dropped and then your main defense in here has got no turrets. So again, because there's a Penguino, it doesn't really matter about this crouch point. <laughs> it's useless to say the least. A Penguino can just run straight through with a rocket launcher. It can blow anything here pretty easy. So any turrets here is just a waste. Again, just spam it off with force field walls. So this is the only thing good about this cave, is that you cannot fit a Terra Nova through this part. But, you can throw one out here. This is why I've placed foundations. Now on this server, if you place foundations, you can't throw out a tame. It will say too close to enemy foundation. This is why you spam a choke point like this. You want to get stuff up in, in, in there as well, up here at Buchanan Foundations. So they can't throw anything out. So they're limited now. They can't get a Terror in. They can't throw a Terror out. So again, they're limited. Snow Owl, they can't dive. Same thing again. They'll dive a little bit, but not enough. So when I raid this spot, I'll use a Penguino. Same thing again, you'll stand here, run out with a rocket launcher. But personally, I wouldn't build in this spot. Reason being, to run from here to A to B to that death wall, right? 
Let's say we're in a penguin. Right? We run in. You haven't got to run very far. The LOS, the line of sight from the turret, is not that far. So it is... Obviously, the longer it is, the harder it is to raid. The penguino hasn't got to run as far. So it's more likely to make it. But if I was to build here, this is how I'd build it. I'd get the death wall as far back as I could. Get this whole thing with turrets. I would get turrets all on these cliffs. Everywhere on these cliffs. Because these are going to be annoying all up here. And yeah, this is it. I'd do the netting like this. All the way to the top. Do another one. All the way to the top. Make all these invisible. Spam the whole thing with small bear traps. And yeah, that's how I'll do it. I'd have a bear or something maybe up here to defend. But yeah, the only thing that puts me off about this spot is the running distance for the penguino. It's definitely raidable with my eyes. But again, you haven't got much to pick from on the center on this server. Right, let's move on to the next spot. Right, so most of you will know this spot. This is North Ice. Again, I haven't built in this spot on foppers. So I'm not 100% sure about this spot. But if I was to build here, which I think I probably will one season, just to test it out, this is how I would do it. Do mini death walls around the whole outside, blocking all the entrances off. So basically, they can't escape. And in the middle, it's just a kill zone. The second they come out the water, they're faced with what? Not one death wall, not two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So they're surrounded. So whatever they come out the water with, they're going to get annihilated. Obviously, can't use a terror. A terror is just going to pop its head up and instantly die. Um, snow owl, you can't dive in the water with a snow owl. They're actually pretty trash in the water. So you can't use that. Penguino. It can come flying out the water. The question is, is it going to lag the turrets? Now, I can't say because I haven't seen it. I haven't built here to see what will happen. But I guess I'll have to test it out. But personally, looking at it now, I can't see a penguino making it to one of the walls. Mate, like, if it lags and the turrets don't shoot, then yeah. Other than that, I can't. Wait, the second they come out of the water, I imagine every turret shooting from every direction. Yeah. Another thing to be careful about with this cave, which has been the same on every Ark server, and it's happened to me a few times, people will build up from the bottom. Basically, look, I'll show you quick how they do it. It's a pretty scummy way, to be honest. But they will place walls like this. And they'll build all the way to the top. But when they obviously build, they'll, they'll do it like that. They'll do it one by one. And they'll build all the way up to the top so they don't get shot by turrets. And then when they get to the top, they'll start placing ceilings and they'll tunnel into the death wall. So they're behind it, basically. Or if if they get right to the death wall, they'll use a rocket launcher, blow it, and then get behind. It's a dirty way to raid. Uh, basically, it's nicknamed Fortnite in on Ark. Because it's just like, it's building into someone's base. You're tunneling. And yeah, it's banned on foppers anyway, but people still do it. Like, So that's the only thing you want to be careful of. But yeah... Not sure about this spot yet, but I'm definitely going to test it out in the future. Right, so here's another half decent spot for a solo or a duo. If you come to Floating Island, um, cords are in the top left. 
here it is on the map basically just come up here and there's a ledge here but it's a crouch spot there's basically an, an, a glitched wall here it's invisible you can just walk through it and yeah it's a nice little rattle got a little spot up here to put your main rep stuff like that get right back in there yeah I was built here a few seasons ago solo and it's a really good little spot I spammed this whole area in here with turrets all up on the walls I'll try and put a clip in now for you just so you could see right so this was my base a few seasons back when I was solo as you can see I got loads of turrets down and this spot you can also see through the floor which is handy and the turrets they all shoot through that invisible wall which is really handy as well just at the bottom here make sure they can't throw a penguino out just around that corner this is a little crafting station i had yeah it was a perfect little solo spot i think i did get offline there in the end but it is what it is but yeah this is really good starter base location and yeah let's move on to the next spot I think that's going to be it for center there's not that many good base spots there's a few more um it really if you can't get pearl cave your best option is to hide out somewhere stay low key stay hidden underwater or find a nice little hidden spot like this right so this was my base from the current season that is running right now I actually didn't get raided at this spot um, I had loads of people trying to offline me they all failed and eventually I just got bored and left for this season but again this is a really strong base spot you cannot fit a Nova into this location snow owls are useless because of the water so yeah penguinos is the only way and if you've got your death wall that far back it just makes it really difficult again make sure you've got a chaos dino so they get the, um, the darken effect where they can't see also cinema cropses are good as they will freeze them when they come in remember to spam loads of small bear traps for the penguinos and do your invisible netting all of this just makes it aids to try and raid so spots like these with water entrances are really op because it kind of restricts you to only using penguinos especially when you can't fit a terror just make sure your death wall has got a good LOS. It's got a good line of sight at the entrance and it's far enough back that it cannot be ran by penguinos. Right, so we're over on RAG. I see a lot of the new guys coming here, building out in the open, building in the caves. Let me just give you some free advice. Do not build on RAG. RAG has always been the worst map for base locations. There's pretty much no good base spots, okay? I'll go over a few of them. Um, this underwater spot down here is pretty trash. It's an easy raft raid. You can fit the Terranova in here. You can fit the XBL in here. You can fit Penguinos in here. So yeah, anything in here is gonna get dropped. If you do decide to build in here, the best thing you can do with it is just spam turrets all on these little cliff blitz. Spam them everywhere, all high up. But just remember, anything that is water level, or pretty much, yeah, anything in here will get dropped if someone wants to. Right. All the highlands is trash. There's no good base spots. And the cave down there, trash. I've raided this loads of times with a Terra Nova. You can just run in there in a matter of seconds and drop whatever's in there. Doesn't matter how you build it. It's an easy raid. And um, we've got the lava cave down here, which would usually be a half decent spot on a low boosted, but because of the Terra Nova, XBL and stuff, it's an easy raid on air. 
You can just run a Terra Nova in, drop the death wall, whatever's here, it doesn't matter. So stay clear from that. Also, when I scout for base locations to raid, I always come to Rag because I know someone will be silly enough to build on it and it will be an easy raid for me. Where else? We got triple waterfall. Don't build there, it's a trash spot as well. Uh, the little cave over there, down here. Don't build there, it's a bad spot. Yeah, pretty much everywhere around here is bad, to be honest. Um, the dark cave, it's a bad spot to build, but you could hide out down there. There's some sneaky little hidden spots. So yeah, if you're looking to hide out, it's a good, good little area. Do not build anywhere around here. All bad locations. Um, Viking Bay Cave. Now this can be a good cave if you build it right. Your best bet is just spamming turrets everywhere, all on the cliffs. But again, you can raft raid it. Now raft raiding's OP, you just build a raft with a box over it so you don't get shot and then just come in. So yeah, I don't, if you do decide to build it, I'd advise probably building up here somewhere and then just spamming turrets completely everywhere. That's your best option. Um, the cave down here, stay away from that one. That's a bad spot. Easily raided this spot. The cave down there, stay away from that one. Another bad location. Yeah, pretty much everywhere is trash around here. Do not build it because you won't last longer than a day or two. The second someone finds you, that's it, you're gone. There's a couple of little caves around here, but they're bad as well. Uh, Alpha Pillar, stay away from that. Obviously on this server, that's a bad location. Stay away from that cave there. Really easy raid. Anywhere in the canyon, all trash base locations. Like I say, Rag hasn't really got any good base locations. Uh, Mushroom Cave underwater, stay away from that. It's an easy raid. Um, stay away from this cave here. Again, that's a really easy raid. Uh, there's a little waterfall cave down there. Stay away from that. There's another little cave around here somewhere. Stay away from that. Um, stay away from the caves over here. There's a crystal cave down there. Another little cave down there. Stay away from them. They're both crap. Stay away from this cave. Yeah, there's pretty well. There's no good base spots on Rag. Put it that way. Do not even waste your time trying to build it. If you do want to build it, then that's fine. It's up to you. But just don't expect your base to last very long on air. Now, the best location I would say you could build would be probably desert crap. Uh, just gonna see if we can find it. There it is. But the problem I don't like about um, Desert Crack. Wait, that's not Desert Crack. There it is. Stay away from that one. I just wanted that was crap. Right, so here's Desert Crack. The problem with this is, is this little cove bit here. If that wasn't here, that would be an even better spot. But you can't throw a... Well, you can't get a terror in, sorry. But... If you drop whatever, if they have turrets here, drop them and then you can come and hide here. I've raided this spot a few times. This is how I've done it. Drop the ground turrets, come here to safety, throw a terror out here or a penguino and then I'll just run out and destroy whatever's here on the ground. I've seen people do death walls here like on the ground and here. You can't do that on this server. Like I say, if you're going to place turrets, they need to be far back. 
because you need to counter the speed of the penguinos and the terrors and stuff because they'll get to your death wall in a matter of seconds so yeah the best bet is to place turrets high up on the cliffs like so that's all you can do if you spam them high up all along the cliff 274 turrets spam loads of um, crap down air bear traps what have you it's going to make it really difficult annoying to raid but at the end of the day look at it this way you can you can get a terror in here eventually anyway if you, you might have to destroy some stuff here but you can get a terror out um you can get the xbo in there you can get a penguino in there so it's going to get raided but if you're just looking for a base to um, get some base defense pvp and stuff mess around it's a good little spot everyone will pull up to you pretty much everyone knows this spot and yeah right i'm trying to think if i've missed any other good spots don't think i have redwoods is all crap as well don't build uh if you do decide to build on rag do me a favor just go on youtube search ragnarok hidden rat holes or underwater rat holes and build somewhere hidden that's your best bet because if you find a hidden rat hole in the water chances are no one will find you the whole season and you'll be laughing even if your base is small yeah just keep your stuff in the upload put a tp somewhere where you can do your breeding cryo everything up go back to base because you'll be chilling in your rat hole where no one can find you and you can just go out raiding everyone that's what i used to do when i was solo and yeah i think that's gonna be it for rag i pretty much covered everything don't build in them caves down here either these ones they're crap so yeah all in all stay clear from rag if you can right guys that is going to be it for this episode remember do not build anywhere a terra nova can fit if you can help it try and build somewhere with a low ceiling so people can't dive bomb with the xbl and fly straight into your base and also remember to set your turrets and death walls further back than you normally would on another server you need to basically counteract um the movement speed so people don't just rush in with a penguino and drop everything and also remember there are other good base spots um obviously i don't know every base spot but i know most of them um if you can't get a good base spot your next option is to stay hidden i've done this plenty of times and i've lasted the whole season without being even found meanwhile what i've been just raiding everyone so yeah have a look on youtube have a look what map you want to play on usually a good idea as well if you want to stay hidden pick the lowest pop map so there won't be many people on there basically like looking for you so yeah pick that map lowest pop one just have a look on youtube search for hidden rat holes or hidden base spots and then yeah who knows you might last the whole season without no one even finding you anyways good luck guys i hope this video helped you out and i hope these new guys have learned something from the video and can maybe last a bit longer than a week anyways have a good christmas guys take care and i'll see you in the next video also i will just mention i'm going to be doing um some survival of the fittest uh content i've been messing around on that as it just come out last night and i will be returning to foppers on the fresh wipe which is on the 30th of december so i'll see you guys there take care and i'll see you in the next one